All right, guys, so to preface this video, I'm just gonna go out here and say I'm not exactly, you know, what you would call some sort of expert magician. I'm just somebody who's kind of like, um, I would say a card magic enthusiast. I kind of know a little bit about it and how to perform some cool illusions. So in saying that, I'm not gonna be revealing the exact way that David Blaine does his trick because they don't exactly know, um, but he seems to be using what's called the Burglis effect um, to kind of, you know, you know, do this illusion where somebody picks a random card and then somebody else picks a number um, and you know the chosen card happens to be X amount of numbers deep within the deck at a very specific location. So I'll leave a, a link so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's a very very cool trick um, and this video is going to basically explain a way for you to very similarly recreate um, what he does. So without further ado, here is the trick. All right, so here's how I would start off the trick. So unfortunately, like in you know the way David Blaine does it, he has the spectator just think of a card off the top of their heads. Unfortunately, like I said, guys, I don't exactly know that method of the trick, but this one is going to get you pretty close. So from here, you have the spectator pick any card from the deck, and what you're going to do is have them just cut anywhere they like. Your hands are wide open. They come over. Let's say, for instance, they cut to this card. All right, so you guys got the two of spades, right? You go ahead, you can leave this in the middle if you want, and you can have the spectators, you know, just continuously cut the deck as many times as they like. So, you know, in some instances, you can continue cutting the cards and they can say stop. For this trick, you can have them cut the cards as many times as they wish, right? So at this point, they picked a completely random card. They cut the deck as many times as they like. Um, so, you know, once once they choose their card, the deck is pretty much theirs, and you can just keep, you know, keep cutting up the cards. And what I'm going to do is I actually have a random number generator here. So in this case, let's say we go ahead and, you know, to prove it to you guys. All right, so seven. Uh, let's do a bigger number than that. We can do, Okay, we can do whatever. So in this case, we have eight. I wanted to make it a little more dramatic, but in this case, we have eight, right? So the spectator picked a card. They shuffled it. You deal down one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight cards down from the top of the deck. And you say, look, you picked your card. It just so happened to be in the eighth position. One more position and you would have got stuck with the seven of spades. One less, you would have been stuck with the ten of clubs. So this is the trick, guys. And if you want to learn how to do it, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here is how you're going to be able to do the trick. So. Um, if you haven't figured it out already, the only thing you're going to need is actually a Svengali deck. So it is a gimmick deck, um, but it's super cheap. I'm going to leave the link down below where you guys can get one. Um, and I am going to get kickback if you do end up buying it from there. So just going to know you guys will support the channel. But it's a super, super cool card trick where basically, or so excuse me, a deck where every other card, in this case the two of spades, is cut a little bit shorter than the rest of the deck. And there's gonna be half of the deck is just filled with these two of spades. And basically when you cut the cards, since they're a bit shorter, it's gonna cut directly to a two of spades. So you don't have to worry about it. A spectator's just gonna pick up the deck. And they're gonna to cut to whatever card they want to. And it's gonna be the two of spades every single time. So that's, um, I would say that's the, the better part about this trick is that it's pretty much foolproof. The spectator just cut, boom. Okay, so at this point, you basically, like I said, you guys get the spectators to pick a card. You open up your hand. They come over. In this case, they grab a two of spades, right? You show the spectators a two of spades. You close the deck up and you put it back where you found it. And then from here, there's multiple things you can do. Um, you don't want to riffle shuffle the cards, but you can definitely just have the spectator cut the deck a bunch of times and nothing's going to happen. So I'm not going to go too uh, in depth about the Svengali deck. If you guys want a tutorial, I might do one later, but. Essentially, it's very, very self-working. You just keep cutting the deck and you tell the spectators, okay, just stop whenever you want to stop. And they can continue cutting the cards. Um, and then from this point, they can truly pick any number they want to, and it's going to be their two of spades unless, unless they say 52 because the 52nd card is not going to be their card. But other than that, the trick is going to work flawlessly. So let's say, for instance, um, we don't even need the random number generator, but let's say for instance they set a number like 12, right? There's two different things. So in this Fengali deck, if you look in the bottom card, and the bottom card is not the forced card, then every odd card is going to be 
their selection. If there's a two of spades or whatever card the deck comes with, the forced one is on the bottom, then the forced card is every um, even card. So in this case, 12, right? The spectator says whatever number they want and they say 12, you're gonna count the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Put the 12th card down and the next card is going to be their card, right? But let's say for instance, they were to say um, an odd card, the trick is gonna work um, even that much better. So in this case, you put the cards you know, back on top. And let's say they were to set a number like nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's pretty simple and very, very self-working. If you guys are able to get a hold of one, I'm sure you guys are going to be able to amaze really anyone that you come across. So like I said, guys, if you guys are interested, you can check out the link below. Um, and if not, you guys can just stick around for more videos. As always, thanks for watching.